What's up guys, it's Lou from Unbox Therapy and today we're taking a look at the Asus ePad Transformer. Now this is probably the most unique of the Android tablets that have come to market of recent and the reason it's unique is because it can basically turn itself into a netbook. You can take the tablet portion, slide it into the keyboard portion and then you're going to get a, a trackpad and a keyboard and basically get netbook functionality out of an Android tablet. So that's pretty interesting and I can't wait to try it out. Definitely stay tuned to the channel for the proper review. This is just the unboxing. So here's that unique portion right here. It's got a chiclet style keyboard. It looks to be a decent size and it's actually fairly light. So hopefully when it's all put together, it's not much heavier than a netbook would be. We've also got a little bit of paperwork. Make that a lot of paperwork. <laughs> and then we've got our proprietary USB connector. It actually is incredibly reminiscent of the Apple connector, the 30 pin that we're all used to, as well as a power brick, which resembles the power brick that came with my Galaxy Tab 10.1. It's almost identical as well. So let's get a closer look at the tablet portion of this package. And the very first thing I notice is this unique finish on the back side of the unit. Uh, unlike so many other products on the market that have that glossy finish to the back, this one is matte and uh, it's actually got a unique texture. Hopefully this thing will avoid the fingerprints that we're all used to on our glossy devices. Here's a closer look at the ports. We've got a speaker, a micro SD, an HDMI, and a headphone jack. This is the right side of the unit. And on the left side of the unit, we've actually got another speaker, so stereo speakers. That's a plus. A volume rocker and our power switch. That's about all that's on that side. The back of the unit has a camera, of course. There's a better look at that unique texture. And, of course, the Asus logo as well, the ever-important manufacturer's logo. <laughs> Here's a camera on the front that's going to be useful for all your video conferencing needs, Skype, etc. So let's get a better look at the keyboard aspect of this package. It's uh, very unusual, in fact. I've never seen anything like this. It's light, and uh, hopefully once the tablet's on there, it's not too top-heavy. That's something I'm worried about. So we got a nice size trackpad on here as well. It'll be interesting to see how that works within Android. And it's also got the matching finish to the top side, which is cool. Uh, the unit has a full-size SD card slot as well as a USB port. This is a flip-down style, allowing you to connect your peripherals, of course. And on the other side of the keyboard dock, we have our same proprietary connector that was found on the tablet itself, as well as a battery indicator, a charging indicator, and another flip-down style USB. Now, <laughs> inserting the tablet takes a little bit to get used to. You got this little locking switch there, and... It feels fine, kind of finicky at first, but I'm sure I'll get better at it after I do it a few times. There's a better look at that trackpad and the nice keyboard here with all of your Android-specific shortcuts, which are hopefully going to make using Honeycomb a little bit quicker. There's a better look at that lock switch I was talking about. Now, when it's all together and all hooked up, it actually feels pretty good. It's not much bigger than any netbook I've really held before, and everything is really accessible. It actually feels fairly solid. The materials in use here are quite impressive, in fact. So there's how it works. You flip it up, it goes to sleep and wakes up just like a regular laptop. So this will be interesting to stack up against my Galaxy Tab 10.1, see how it performs, and see if I end up using it more as a tablet or more as a netbook. Anyway, guys, until next time, thanks for watching.